Hello and welcome to the latest instalment from our Honda video series. Ahead of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, we're going to be talking to Chris Wright, one of the Honda Power Unit engineers. So let's go and see what he's up to. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Sorry to interrupt. How are you doing? You're a busy man, so thank you very much for your time. Uh, so we're here to learn about you and your role within Honda. So is this your main, uh, your main office, your place of work? Yeah, these are the racks, or some teams call them battle stations, and this is where I work from all the time. So you said you get here on a Thursday, or you're working here on a Thursday. What do yeah. you do on that day? There's no track running, is there? No, that's right. Uh, Thursday's mostly meetings and preparing for what we're going to do that race weekend. So some races have got different particular demands to other race weekends, so here it's uh, what we're going to do about the really long straight and uh, what, how to use the energy and the fuel in this race and uh, yeah it's a slightly different picture at each race weekend. And then Friday, first time you get to the car on track, is it just making sure it all matches your simulations? Exactly, so it's making sure those settings worked as expected. If the drivers have got any requests about drivability or they'd rather spend some energy somewhere else rather than where we're spending it on the lap because they think it's not worth it and yeah we can make those kind of changes. Yeah and then, and then Saturday obviously there's one more practice session but it's all about qualifying really. Yeah so, so we try to make as few changes as possible on a Saturday obviously if we've got a major problem we can make some changes but the, the whole point is FP3 is your last chance to try something and if it's all gone okay we won't change anything in qualifying and if it didn't work um, we don't try something else for qualifying we just roll back to the Friday settings so it's safe, so we can't make any mistakes. And then it's Sunday morning now, it's getting pretty lively in here. Yeah. You can feel the anticipation. What happens on race day for you? Um, well, we get in here quite early actually, so that we can fire the engines up as early as possible. So if we've got any issues, um, we've got time to do something about it. Um, so we generally come in about five hours before the race starts. Oh. Um, and in that time, we'll fire up the engines, check all the data. So that's when you earn the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but it's when I earn my dinner, yeah. yeah. Well, obviously you say you spend a lot of your time sat here, but yep. where else in this sort of garage setup do you go? Because it's quite condensed, there's a, there's a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, so we've got the, the area where the engines are prepared and we've got the alcove where the fire-ups are done from, so I can show you both those. Yeah, that'd be great, thank you. So it's just behind these secret doors is where the engines are prepared and the ERS is uh, prepared as well. Didn't even see them. So, yeah, the, the power units are under wraps. These are the spares. Obviously, yep. the, the primes are in the cars, and we're not intended to change those. If we change those today, that's that's a yeah. We don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just there if they're, needed. They're there if needed, yeah. And uh, at which point in the weekend are they ready? Because it's on Thursday, sort of thing. Uh, yeah, these are ready to go in on a Thursday if we have a problem. Yeah. Cool. And you said that's the. This is the Earth's clean room. So this is uh, partly to be a clean room. So it's a. Uh, a clean working area for the ERS because it's so complicated um, mm -hmm. but it's also to limit access because it's high voltage working area yeah. we don't want anybody just wandering into um, high voltage working so there's some traffic lights on there and we've got the safety equipment and everything we'll probably not go in there then exactly, yeah. it's probably safer that I don't um, <laughs> you see the alcove is the other place yeah we can go sure. look at the alcove thank you very much This is the alcove, this is where our system engineer or PU mechanic does the fire-ups from. Um, I don't do the fire-ups anymore, but when I did, this is the hand throttle or pit pedal. Wow. So um, that's an engine, this is to kill the engine, yep. and this is to rev the engine, so you've got the hand throttle so you can do the blips. That's cool. Um, and that's just to check power unit functionality really, or to kill it in a, if we need to stop the engine during the fire-up. And uh, yeah, this, this is a laptop that also goes to the grid. Okay. So part of Sunday morning, the system engineer will make sure this laptop's all up to date and then he grabs this and goes to the grid um, so that he can do the fire-ups on the grid and also takes a bit pedal with him. So that's the guy that people see crouched down by the car? Yeah, that's it. Last, yeah. last minute? Yeah. That's so cool. I always wonder what that did. Yeah. Um, and where else should you go? I, I think any other place is hospitality? Uh, main thing is go get a cup of tea from the hospitality, yeah. Should we go and grab one? Yeah, okay. Thanks. Oh no, brew station maintenance. Yeah, uh, timing. Well, we've just run across a cup of tea. Um, 
while they look after us. We've just run across from the garage. That's, I don't know, 10 yards. Yep. Do you ever get to see much more than this at a venue? Uh, not really. I mean, we get out on a night and have a beer every now and again. So we, we managed to get one in last night, but, but that's it really. Yeah, we don't get much time to explore. Yeah. Although it looks really cool, like the drive from the airport to the circuit is all we got to see really. Yeah. It's a lot of flashing buildings, it looks really nice, but that's it. Did, are there any places you have managed to get out and see a little bit more of in this job, or is it um, work, work, work? Well, I've been doing this job a few years now, so yeah, I've seen places bit by bit. So the places we've been going every year, you tend to know the best. But the new, newer places like Baku, I'd like to explore it. I haven't even been to the old town yet. Yeah. Well, I mean, that shows how hard you're working, so we'll probably... <laughs> So you get a cup of tea and uh, and crack on with Sunday. So right, good thanks luck very today. much. Thank you. Thanks very much.